Hi, my name is Michelle and this is my first ever video tutorial. I've been so fascinated with crafting lately, so I thought I'd share some of my projects with all of you. We're going to start off with something really simple and um, they're called policy envelopes, I think. This is something that I've made earlier on. And um, it's something where you have these two circles here and then you just loop them around with string. Um, sometimes you can get really bored with the selections that you have at the bookstore, so why not make something yourself, right? Uh, to start off with, you're going to need um, a sheet of cardstock. I've already prepared one here and cut the size, A4 size. This is a Christmas themed sheet of cardstock, which I don't think I'll be using anytime soon. And Plus, this front, this green section here, doesn't really look Christmassy, so I think this would work just fine. And um, Or else, you could also use plain A4 sheet of paper. Try to use something more colorful, because if it's just plain white, you might as well buy it from the bookstore yourself. So, we're going to work off with this sheet. Um, to start off with or rather with a scoreboard with a scoreboard let me just adjust this okay with a scoreboard align your sheet of paper to the edge here and um, with this scoreboard, it also comes with a scorer, or you could also use a, um, what do you call these things? Um, a bone knife? Ha ha, I'm not sure what it's called. But anyway, um, I have a template here, so instead of measuring, Okay, the score comes in at 8 inches and over here. So you just score down there, then score down here. Actually, I should have scored on the other side because you're going to fold in this way, but it doesn't matter. Um, after which, you turn it around this way and use my template here. It goes on this. You can use your own measurements. It really doesn't matter. This is just something that works for me. down there. Okay. Now let's get rid of the score. And just so that you can see things better, fold where the score marks were made. You can see the lines better as well. Okay, so after that, you're going to cut where these lines meet. Okay? Now, you can either use a pair of scissors for that. Sorry, let me just adjust that. Um, scissors are faster.
Okay, so how it's going to look like is fold that inwards, that over there, and then this goes right there. Sometimes you're going to have this thing jutting out. So that means you did not cut it properly. What you do is just cut some more. I think it's on this side here. Doesn't matter because it's going to be hidden by this fold, so you won't know whether it's a straight cut or not. And I think this covers quite well. Yep. Um, just to make things more interesting, um, you could use the corner punch to have rounded edges. For the shorter flap, I'm going to use a smaller corner punch. And then for the bigger flap, which will which is the main flap, I'm going to use the bigger corner punch. So that's how it's going to look like. You've got the skeleton already. Next, you are going to prepare or you're going to make these circles. Okay, I used uh, this round scallop punch because that's the only round punch that I have. Um, it measures one and one fourth. Hi! So from the balance sheets or um, I have some scrap here which will go well with this, we will punch two circles. right in the center aga agala or estimate where the circle is the center part is okay and then we can put that aside and then for this flap okay you're just gonna find the center of this I know the center is about two and a half inches or rather just slightly more and okay I can't seem to find my things right now but with a pen preferably a pencil try to mark the center and I think it's about there Okay, so that's the center. And then over here, try to find. Okay, probably I'd want the circle somewhere there, so just mark. To that. Okay. Next. With a hole puncher or with an eyelet tool, comes with a punch. Oops. I am sorry. Like I said, this is my first tutorial, so punch it right where the center is and marked with a pencil or the pen. do is 
I have some pink string here. I don't like to use that much. Just a rough estimate. And what you do is put it through this hole. Okay, put it like that. And take your circles here. Right there, right in the center. And then with an eyelet. Put that in there. And then just secure it really well. Okay, so just make sure that this is not loose. And then you just cut off the ends. Do the same thing to this end here. Get your eyelet and secure it down really well. And there you go. You're almost done. Okay, so I think this doesn't really cover really well. Still comes out of it. So what you do is trim it again some more. And the same with the other side. Nope. Oops. Wrong way of doing it. Okay. Check it that way. Okay, sorry, MSC. This is my first tutorial, so please forgive me. Now that works better. With a glue stick or double sided tape, I like to use the glue stick better. Okay. Just rub all the glue there as much as you can and over on this flap. it down could use the bone folder that's what it's called the bone folder oh my gosh so you just press it down like that just to make sure the glue sticks really really well and ta-da you are done you are done look at that look at that it's so easy and then with the front you can do whatever you like you could even have that stuck on but I'm not going to do that you could even use your stamps to stamp something and decorate I'm sorry again you can use your stamps to decorate the cover and we are done. That is how it looks like. See, the thing with cardstock is it has this really nice lining here, or rather, it's, it comes with a lining already, so you don't have to worry that it's plain. And there you go. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. And I hope you'll try this out yourself at home. I'd love to see how it turns out for you. So please, please post pictures of your envelopes and tag me on Facebook. Till the next video, stay tuned. Bye.